The track on my right is the, is the CPR track to the beach at Gimli. Question. This was a log building, wasn't it? Huh? Was this originally a log building? Uh, I have no idea. No idea, okay. There used to be an arcade in here with games and stuff like that, if I remember. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We are, we are at Lockport, which was in its early days. When I was younger, it was a destination for Winnipeggers to come up here for spend an afternoon, Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon, sit along the water, come to Skinner's, which is behind me, have a hot dog, french fries, soda pop, ice cream. If not here, we would, they would go to the other side of the river to either the Half Moon and do the same thing. But it was a destination. But for us, it was more than that for me. Uh, in our early years, we used to go fishing. And we would have to come, to have to come, to get to the White Shell, we would have to come through, through Lockport. We'd go down there, pick up a box of shiners. My uncle, would, who's driving, turn around, and we would cross over the big bridge over here and proceed out to the White Shell where we go fishing at White Lake on the Big Rock. Did you like fishing? Yeah, I like, I like being out. I like to be out in the bush. I like the country. I enjoyed it. If I caught a fish, I was happy. If I didn't catch a fish, well, that's just life, isn't it? My mother, saw, oh, she always caught fish. <clears throat> the dumb thing was this. She would sit on the little, little, little chair, even in the boat, and she'd sit the little fishes in the brook. Mama's got to catch them on a hook or whatever. He had a little song. She would sing to the darn fish as if they heard it. And by golly, if they didn't catch a fish. It was just strange. Fishing on Lockport on the other side, north side of this bridge, down by the water, it was shoulder to shoulder, basically. It just lined up. Everybody's throwing a line in the water. And the fish, at certain times of the year, they would run very well. You'd catch what they call bullheads, little ugly little creatures. I would, I would take, them, take them off the hook, dig a hole in the sand, put some mud over and bury them, because they were ugly. I say, uh, you, you need some duct tape to tighten up your cheeks so we cross over this bridge here. Go ahead. No, you're good. No, you know what? I'll tell you something. I want to get ice cream cold. It was about 1947, 48, 49. We used to come here. Okay. Okay. Nice. As a what family. What kind of hard ice cream do you have? I have all the ones uh, just up in here. Eh? Want to tell me a story? Are you guys anniversary or? No, no, we're just doing. They're doing a documentary of uh, my my life going back to 1910. Oh, okay, cool. I gotta ask you a question. Yeah. With, with Skinner's, I remember Skinner's being a log building at one time. A log building uh, down by the river. Yeah, was, yeah, that was eh? Yeah, that's uh, a log building. Oh, that's what I thought. I knew that wasn't crazy. They, they used to have arcades at the old uh, log building there. On one side, you, you can go. You on the one side there, yeah. yeah. They had them yeah. up until a few years ago, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going up to Winnipeg Beach. Is that another one I remember uh, when I was a kid? Okay. Uh, we used to take the train up there when I was a kid. Okay. Yeah, my mom tells me stories that they used to have the roller coaster. That's right, yeah. <laughs> roller, and roller coaster, bought dodging cars, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. quite the happening place. Was your mom told you that? Yeah, my, my, good, my dad grew up out there. He did? Oh, he did. Okay, yeah. I was reading, the, they used to have the caterer's picnic. I don't know if you remember that. Upwards of seven to 8,000 people would come from Winnipeg to that picnic in an afternoon for Saturday, or no, it was a weekday night. It was usually weekday, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday they would run on a regular basis. I don't know if you, your mom talked about that. The teddy bear picnic? Well, it was teddy bear, or the, it was called the caterer's picnic. Oh, the caterer, oh, okay. Uh, today I'm walking the footsteps of my youth, and Lockport was a destination. It was established in 1929. So that's a, this goes to show you how far back this business goes, how popular it's been popular ever since. This is the granddaddy of the hot dog era in this area. <laughs>